It's an honor for me to present this award tonight. Uh, before I get started, I feel like I have to defend myself a little bit. Brad's calling me cheap up here earlier. Three years ago at this banquet, my wife was here with me on date night, and we had just found out that we were going to have our first baby. We had only told Brad so that we could go home and tell our parents, and he was introducing us, he said, and expecting. Well, we now have two kids, so you take the date nights where you can get them. But, uh, anyway, we're here to talk about our boys coach of the year. Um, this year's uh, Boys Coach of the Year winner, uh, his team is perpetually managing high expectations. Uh, a top 10 ranking awaited them this season, and uh, they still like they felt like they had something to prove. It was apparent with them, talking with them about that over the course of the season. Coach's uh, team won three tournaments this season, including their home tournament. They also avenged a loss in the last round of a road tournament from last year and uh, achieved the district championship. His team won 20 games for the second straight season and the fifth time in six years. And winning like that uh, is a sure sign of consistency. Because the school hosts a tournament, we get the rare chance to see that consistency in, in practice before some of those games begin. And it's something his players clearly understand. It's something that his opponents, uh, his, his peers, talk about quite often when we speak to them about his teams. In fact, uh, Coach is so consistent I was convinced that he had one shirt and one tie that he wore to every game, every season. And I'm happy to say that that theory is still alive. He has the shirt on tonight. I think it might, he might have found a new tie for the occasion. But Despite all that consistency, our 2016 Boys Coach of the Year has never won this award. According to Mitchell Records, Coach's 78% win percentage is currently top 10 in Missouri history. He's won over 300 games in just 14 years, and he's taken Teams for the Show Me Showdown twice in the last five seasons. Now he can say he's the Crest Coach of the Year. Congratulations to Glasgow's Mick Crop. I do wear this shirt a lot because some reason my clothes shrink over the summer. <laughs> it's definitely the clothes, but uh, I do uh, want to thank some people. I want to thank uh, my players. Uh, couldn't be done without these guys. Uh, these guys that are here and the guys that are back home. And uh, thank the parents and the community of Glasgow. And uh, thank my family. And a special thank you to my wife, who uh, also, I'm sure I deserve it, but. She does a lot of yelling for free, too, so uh, that's her job. And also, um, she's uh, done a great job of raising uh, three, three babies, two of them being our own kids and the other one being me. And uh, I'd just like to say thank you to her. And lastly, uh, Coach uh, Humphreys and I have a few things in common. One, we both think Scott's a really good basketball coach. And two, I've also been beaten by Scott County by 200. And uh, three, um, you're honored to be and humbled to be on the list that you're on, and I'm honored and humbled to be on the list that's in this uh, program to coach against uh, these guys year in, year out, and maybe better, a better coach. And uh, Coach Roberts, I know a lot of people have, have uh, given you uh, props, so to speak, and I'd also like to say thank you for your uh, camaraderie and coaching through the years have made me a better basketball coach, much like a lot of the other coaches on that list. Thank you very much. 